Hello viewers, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Olin Zimfune from Rivers of Joy Church uh, right here in Lusaka, Zambia. Uh, I bring you the second episode on God's will and uh, I have entitled uh, this episode The Revealed and Hidden Will of God. Remember uh, in the previous episode, those of you who are with us, we started talking and conceptualize uh, the will of God and we talked about two dimensions of the will of God. Uh, we talked about, you know, the will of God as God's grand plan or purpose for humanity and the will of God in the, in the context of God's command. And we talked about the importance of aligning our will to God's will. And I want to build on that and talk about the revealed and hidden will of God because these are extremely important to us aligning our will to God's will. So I want us to go to Deuteronomy uh, chapter 29. Uh, and uh, I'll read verse 29, uh, very simple scripture. It says, the secret things belong to our God, but the things that are revealed belong to us and to our children, that we may do all the words of his law. There, scripture is talking about things that are revealed. And so when we're talking about the revealed word of God, we I mean the revealed will of God, we are talking in that particular context but it also talks about the secret things and that's why we talk about the hidden will of God things that have not been revealed to us and we can use uh, those uh, words in that particular scripture then to uh, split the will of God into two types of wills again these are also dimensions of God's will and and the first one is the revealed will of the revealed will of God and the second one is the hidden will of God and I'll explain just in a moment what these two uh, concepts mean first when you talk about the revealed will of God it has two aspects uh, in my view, first one is, you know, the general will of God as revealed in the scriptures, as revealed in the word of God. Uh, for others, when they talk about the, the, the word of God in the context of the written word of God, it's what they call the logos. And, and you've got to see the written word of God really as an important guide in, in the context of what the will of God is for our lives. In other words, what the Bible reveals or the Word of God reveals are God's promises for our lives. It also gives us principles for living our lives. It gives us intentions uh, of God uh, for our lives and the purposes of God. So you, when you read the Word of God, it contains the revealed Word of God. You don't have to be lost. Uh, sometimes we face a crisis when we have to make decision in our lives and ask ourselves what the will of God in this context. One of the important guide that you have is basically the word of God. Is, is what, uh, what you are trying to do, is it consistent with the word of God? If it is consistent with the word of God, there's a degree of freedom that you have to pursue uh, whatever it is that you want to pursue. We face these decisions when we want to marry. We face these decisions when we are looking for a job. We face these decisions when there is a very difficult decision to make and sometimes we find ourselves without a guide and I want to say that the number one guide that you have in living the will of God in understanding the will of God is basically the Word of God it is a lamp unto our feet it is a guide uh, then this, the second uh, aspect of the revealed Word of God is, is basically you know a word that is very specific to your circumstances very specific to your situation what others would say you know receiving uh, a word of knowledge for example or a word of wisdom a spoken word that guides you in, in terms of what to do in specific circumstances and this word as I've mentioned can come to you via a, maybe a prophetic utterance it can come via a word of knowledge it can come via a word of wisdom this particular way indeed of getting to know the will of God requires that you have really a quite a deeper relationship with God that you are a person that is tuned in to the Holy Spirit one who indeed has surrendered themselves you know to uh, a relationship with a God to the extent that they're able to hear
hear his voice. When people are talking about hearing his voice, basically this is what they're talking about. And this, uh, in my view, uh, also encompasses the revealed word of God. So you don't have to be lost as, as a child of God because you have enough guidance via the word of God. You have enough uh, you know, guidance via this uh, other uh, means that I'm talking about. It, uh, some people talk about it in the context of the Rema word. Uh, and so sometimes when you hear people talking about the Logos, they're talking about the written word of God. And when they're talking about the Rema, they're talking about this very specific word that that comes uh, you know, via the Holy Spirit. And it's important for you to understand that. These are your guide. And all that you need is really to be in that position where you build your relationship you know, to the extent indeed that you can go even a step further other than just the Logos to be able to discern the voice of God, discern the will of God through uh, the Holy Spirit. So that is basically the revealed will of God. But then there's the hidden will of God. Now, the hidden will of God is really, again, based on the fact that we are dealing with uh, God Almighty. And there must be a distinction between the Creator and the creature. And there are certain things that God does in his sovereignty. There are certain things that sometimes we may not even understand. And, and sometimes God lets his purposes come to pass without even you knowing that his purposes are at work. And that basically, in my view, is what you may call the hidden uh, will of God. And it is linked again to his grand plan for humanity. Now, the, 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 the beauty about this is that you can always trust God, that he knows what he's doing. And, and, and I know that there are times when we are facing a crisis, maybe because, you know, we've been fired or perhaps we've been chased from school or our marriage is breaking and we're trying to understand what really is God doing. And it becomes extremely difficult for you to understand. I can tell you that sometimes certain things we may not understand because of the fact that we are dealing with a sovereign God. But the one thing I can bet, uh, the one thing I can guarantee you is that his will is perfect and his will is not to harm you. His will is to build your life. In whatever circumstances that you are facing, you can trust him. And this is my message uh, in this episode, that you can trust him. I don't know what you are facing, but you can trust him. I, I, I want you to understand that very, very, very well. Even in the context where you don't know what to do, you can always trust him. God bless you. And, and, and I believe that that word indeed will build and strengthen you. Amen.